everyone knows that Britney Spears got her start in showbiz when she was just a youngster with barely any hair on her head. The pop princess performed on the Mickey Mouse Club, an incubator for celebrities like Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera and Ryan Gosling. Not to be outdone, Boa Kwan also jumped in the game at a young age. She was only 11 when she was discovered at a Big Brother's audition for SM. <laughs> Seriously, the clubs I joined had snotty nosed kids with clammy hands and bad breath. Not the guy who brought sexy back. Since their debuts, both singers have had ridiculously successful music careers. Bo has built a strong Japanese following and is the only foreign artist who has had two albums that have each sold over one million copies in Japan. She's also one of only three singers to have had six consecutive number one studio albums on the Oricon charts. In terms of musical style, Bo cites Britney Spears as one of her chief inspirations. Spears has often been called the Princess of Pop, and you can see why. She has a Grammy, six MTV Video Music Awards, a Lifetime Achievement Award, nine Billboard Music Awards, a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and the list goes on. These days, Britney hasn't exactly been doing backflips and rocking schoolgirl outfits, but back in her youth, she was queen of the low-rise jeans and midriff bearing crop tops. In her prime, she did 300 crunches a day, and you can see it paid off. Since then, she's been doing other types of crunches. Crunching Cheetos, crunching tacos. <laughs> crunching foods, okay. Back in Korea, Bo was also working the belly bearing look, showing off her flat stomach and wicked moves. Scores of singers have uh, dabbled in the old acting, and these two ladies are no different. Britney Spears has made numerous cameos on TV shows like Will and Grace, Glee, How I Met Your Mother, and starred in her own film, Crossroads, back in 2002. Next year, Bo will star in her first Hollywood film, Kobu 3D. It has every form of dancing, romantic dancing, break dancing, dancing with drums, dancing with the stars, dancing on your face, dancing, dancing, yeah. Britney's $15 million judging gig with the X Factor USA was the talk of Hollywood. But did you know, Bo started judging back in 2011 on K-pop Star and she signed on for another season of the Talent Search program alongside JYP and Yang Hoon Sok. Every panel has its Simon and while Bo wasn't sporting a tight V-neck shirt, she did wear the same unimpressed look that has been known to crush the hopes and dreams of contestants. Viewers tuned in to watch her demolish young aspiring singers as she routinely accused them of boring her. Rumours and promos that have poured out of the X Factor auditions suggest that Britney could give Bo a run for her money for being the meanest female judge on television. Brit. Knee. And. Let's take a look at an episode of Taxi, a show that interviews stars while driving around Seoul in a cab. We meet the first winner of Superstar K, Sa Ying Guk, and Show Me the Money's host, Eun Ji Won. These musicians have reinvented themselves as actors and feature in a Korean sitcom called Reply 1997. Chung Eun Ji, main vocalist of girl group A Pink, also features in the series as Sa Ying Guk's love interest. Eun Ji Won praises Seo Ying Guk for his impressive acting skills and goes one step further to laud his chemistry with Chung Eun Ji, hinting that they may have feelings for one another. Talk about putting someone on the spot. Wow, very honest and very sweet. I love public confessions. But the question is, does she feel the same about him? The host set out to find the answer by calling her on the spot. When asked if she was interested in Yingu, she simply responded, no. It's a little burdensome. I hope he could control his feelings. <laughs> On The Beatle Code 2, we meet boy band Infinite and take an in-depth look at heartthrob member L. Yes, his name is L. 
It was truly a surprise when 21-year-old L, ever so popular with the girls, broke the news that he has never had a first kiss. He even took a lie detector test to prove it. Hmm, only time will tell. Ladies, take note. He revealed that he likes girls with long, wavy hair. Get in line to be his first kiss. He also said he wants to pursue acting in a diverse array of genres and was truly inspired by actor Won Bin's performance in Ajashi during the scene he is staring at himself in the mirror and shaving his head. The host asked him to do a rendition of the scene, but poor little El couldn't keep a straight face for long. Not bad, El. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> Up next, we strip away the auto-tuning and hear what K-pop idols actually sound like. And Jake and Amos break down Psy's new music video in this week's Junk Chart. Stick around, there's more Junk coming your way.